Hi Cancers, we are going to find out or try to find out what's going on in your connection and relationship. I'm going to pull energy from both sides. So use your intuition to know which is your energy and your person's energy. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. Moon, Rising, Venus might resonate. I uh, also do the extra wild card reading. You can check out that one. See if I was able to pick up your energy in that one. This is for my Cancers. One more, guys. My Cancers. First person energy. Let's find our first person's energy. Where's that? Oh, I think I pushed it back, guys. It's okay. It'll come out. First person energy. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, TKO. Technical knockout. Ow. Technically, something, you know, they knocked them out of their chance in the relationship. Let's see what's going on. Other side of the energy. Mmm, right there. Challenges. There was a lot of challenges. Ow. Oh, oh, okay. So, we got a connection. There's a lot of challenges. This person feels like, you know, there's a lot of reasons that uh, prevented you from having a chance together. A lot of challenges. Let's see the energy between us. Energy between us. What's got our energy still reaching out towards each other in the unseen? What's the energy between us? It's pulling us together. It still pulls us together. Oh, that one don't want to let go. Apology. Apology. Someone, oh, huh. Apology. What else? Not them. Didn't feel it. What else? What else? It's for my cancer in their person. Mm -hmm. Right there. You deserve better. Apology. I'm sorry. You deserve better. You deserve so much better. Oh. Okay. Let's put the deck right there. Let's go ahead and pull the energy on the one that got knocked out. A technical knockout. Oh. Yeah, it feels unfair. It's like I could have kept going. <laughs> you know, the box. And I'm like, no, no, don't call it referee. Don't call it yet. But they do. See their energy is from a cancer person. My cancer in their person. TKO. Ow. Ace of Cups. Love. It was it was love. Love. Oh, we got two trying to pop. Oh, they don't want, they didn't want it to end. The world card upside down. They did not want it to end. They didn't want to have to move forward. And everything seems unfair and nothing's working in my favor. Yeah, the temperate Sagittarius uh, on its head. They were definitely in love. Is there anything else you can tell us about our TK person? A TKO person right there. Oh, they're not happy. They're not happy sun card on his head. Let's go ahead to the person that's saying the challenges. There's a lot of challenges. Way too many challenges. Tell us a little bit more about that person. Hmm. King of Pentacles. Taurus. Taurus energy. King of Pentacles. And Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Independence. Oh. Tell me more on the Nine of Pentacles, please. Tell me more right there. The Queen of Pentacles. What about it? What about it? Ow. Oh, you know it's wanting to reverse itself. Uh, Capricorn. A devil energy. Repressive. Uh, oppressive kind of energy. So, uh, possibly third party or you know, you know well when i say third party just you know it could be more than um they were they're married or they were in another connection it can be more than that it could be like job things like that but yeah they oh mm, 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 mm. something was oppressing them and it has something to do with that divine feminine energy Nine of Cups, wishes. They had a lot of wishes and hopes for the connection. What else? What else? Is there anything else? 
that don't want to let go. Reversed Emperor. Yeah, my how. That Reversed Emperor is a lack of confidence. Uh, nothing seems to go as you plan. Uh, that kind of thing. Um, the fact that we got that Devil Capricorn. Capricorn Queen. Yeah, something was really in the way, big time in the way. In this, we're talking pentacles, a lot of tangible things in the way. Job, career, uh, obligations to someone that needed them, that kind of thing. Their freedom was like, you know, the, the freedom to be fully in this connection was hindered by Capricorn energy, so yeah. See the energy between us. Energy between us. One card for the energy between us. The energy between us. What keeps us reaching out to each other on the unseen level and seen level? Oh, fire. Ace of Wands. Passion, desire still there. Ow, and yeah. The Six of Pentacles wanting, wanting more, wanting to give more, but also, you know, more is a card of giving and receiving, time, attention, tangible things, that kind of thing. What's motivating it is there's a true, still a true desire to give each other time, attention, affection. You deserve so much more. You deserve better, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Let's ask what well, we want to ask for my uh, cancers here. Let's ask if if we stay open to a connection with this person, if we were to stay open, stay patient, and a little bit persistent about it, what would happen for our TK person? What would what would go on in their psyche? What would happen for them? Let's find out what would happen if we if we don't give up yet. If we don't give up yet, what would happen? Ooh, that one's wanting to fly. Prince says a page of swords. Communications opening up. Mm -hmm. Got the Prince Gemini on its head, though. Uh -huh, a lot of talk before we take any kind of actions. Mm, not quite sure. Uh, that that is what I'm getting off that card. I'm not quite sure yet. Three of cups. I can get drunk in love with you. And we got our page of wands on its head. Of uh, yeah, we're we're thrown off. It's almost like being drunk in love. Drunk in love. The dissatisfaction of not knowing. Um, that would lift off of us. This is a card of melancholy of, you know, not taking grasping opportunities when they're available to you. But like I said, this per the, the TKO person is like they're going to feel like they're drunk in love, but they're going to try to take things as slow as they can. They want to talk more, be more open and talk more before action, before action. Because they're feeling drunk, woozy drunk in love. Mm -hmm. Let's see our person with all the challenges over here. What would happen if we don't give up yet? If we don't give up on the connection yet? What would happen for them? What would happen in their psyche? What would happen? Ooh. Ooh, the lover's card. Am I holding upside down? Nope. It's on its head. <laughs> Commitment. Commitment's in question. Seven of Swords. Mm. Victory. Clarity. Truth and Honesty. Queen of Cups. Cancer. Ooh. 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 What are they saying? Because they're definitely representing you with that. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. How, what, what they would be, what's going to happen, the immediate first thing that's going to happen that's important to know is the person's going to be questioning how much of a commitment they're able to give to you because they don't want to steal 
light away from me and they're they want to be truthful and honest about things our seven of swords is about ghosting it's about you know um stealing you know thievery things like that betrayal um that kind of thing there's also energy about taking back what's been stolen from you mm -hmm. but this person would actually be questioning uh, how the still how all these the challenges whatever their circumstances are uh, how fair that is to you how fair that is to you they would want and they would also want to do a lot of talking truthful authentic let's be real with each other yeah because I'm not sure, and, and should I commit you to, yeah, you know, should I get in a committed relationship with you uh, when I've got all this? Should I bring you down with me? That's That seems to be what they're questioning. So, yeah, let's put these back in the deck. Let's pull if we didn't. If we didn't give, hang with it and give it a chance and not give up on it yet. If we went ahead and gave up on it, let's try to get them up right here. If we went ahead and gave up on the connection and moved on, what would happen to our TK, TKO person over here? What would happen for them? Well, where would their energy go? Ow. <laughs> Melancholy. Oh, ow. Depressed. Dissatisfaction. Discontentment. Boredom. Things like that, but yeah. Eight of Swords, and it's reversed. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Feeling a little bit lost in heartache. Heart would be hurt. Six of Swords, they may even consider getting up and moving, like physically moving away. Yeah, physically moving away from this. And to plant new seed, it was, yeah. So he said, it's like starting all over again. I, what do I want? What what do I want for my future? What seeds am I going to plant for my future? And it, probably the heartache, it, what we're feeling, would actually throw us more into focusing on uh, the material side of life. Work, finances, things like that, rather than relationship. It would be, it would be hard. Yeah, it's, it would be heartache. This person's energy, if, if we went ahead and gave up... It would feel very unfair to him. Leave her on her head. Ow, gosh. Magician on his, on his head. Uh, feeling hopeless. Oh, yeah. Hopeless. My life is hopeless. Ever, yeah. Oh, and battle wagon. Cancer energy on its head. Everything torn apart. Feeling like no direction, no purpose. Seven of cups. And feeling over, extremely overwhelmed. With un you know being sad, unhappy, that kind of thing. Because first thing popping is the the kissing in in our background. That's actually a six of cups in the background. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it would be hard. Yeah, it'd be rough on on both of you if if you gave up on the connect. Went ahead and gave up on the connection. And either way, it's going to be rough if you do, can you know, stick with it for a little bit longer and not give up yet. It's still hard. This person is going to question it because they've got a lot of stuff going on in in their life right now that they don't want to drag you down with. Let's go ahead. And, I actually want, I'm feeling to let this person talk. This person talk. So let's get pick a deck. Which one do we want, guys? Mm, I'm feeling the flying hearts. Let's go with it. Don't question it. Don't let me question it. Doubt it, guys. Feeling the flying hearts. This is for our person with the challenges. My cancer and their connection. The one with all the challenges. Mm. I keep coming up with excuses of why I shouldn't reach out to you. I'm frustrating myself. I'm frustrating myself. You motivate me to be a better person. You're my fire. You're my fire. That's the energy between us. You're my fire. I want to reach out. I want to give more to you. Anything else? Anything else? 
I wish I could tell you how much I still love you. I'm afraid of you rejecting me. Afraid of you rejecting me. I'm ready to follow you anywhere. I want to. Right here. You excite me in ways I never thought possible. You're the right person at the wrong time. You're the right person at the wrong time. Oh my goodness, my cancer. I feel like others are working really hard to keep us apart. I really wish we could spend some time together alone. Alone. I check out your social media all the time. I don't want to go of me. Nostalgia, you really were the best thing in my life. You always made me smile. The Six of Cups. The Six of Cups. We Nostalgia. Aww. My feelings, my feelings for you are growing, but I'm afraid to show it. I'm listening way too much to my head rather than my heart. Rather than my heart. Oh my goodness. Okay, my cancer. Let's pull uh, the soulmate attracting and nurturing loving relationships. I'm going to ask your person to put everything aside and send you a blessing through these messages. Ask this person here challenges to send you a blessing. Mm. See what we got. You're always in my heart like a glowing ocean light, a shimmering star in heaven. Love is a golden memory drifting through the space of autumn leaves. Recollections of eleven days and nights. Oh my goodness. Reawakening love in me and a time when I didn't have challenges. From a physical perspective, some relationships may seem less than perfect, yet from a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred, for they each help us to grow in love and wisdom. In love and wisdom. Okay, my Cancers, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.